Genesis 39 is the story of Joseph in Potiphar's house. He's been sold as a slave to the Egyptians by his brothers, and he finds himself being bought by a man named Potiphar. And there's a phrase that runs all throughout chapter 39, and I want you to listen to it. In verse 1, it says, Joseph had been taken down to Egypt, and Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh's captain of the guard, an Egyptian, bought him. And then it goes on to say this, and this is the phrase, verse 2, the Lord was with Joseph. Verse 3, the Lord was with him. Verse 6, the Lord blessed the Egyptian's house because of Joseph. Over and over again, you see this theme, the Lord was with Joseph. And this is why Joseph did everything that was right in Potiphar's house. He tried to serve the Lord and Potiphar. And so God not only blessed Joseph, but he blessed the Egyptian's home. And so there he is, he's working, he's, he's actually risen to power in Potiphar's home and he's over all the servants. And then the enemy comes after Joseph through Potiphar's wife. She tempts him, she tries to seduce him, and she even grabs his coat one day as she's cleared all the servants out of the house and says, lie with me. And Joseph runs. Of course, she accuses him of rape, he's arrested, he's thrown into prison. And here's the amazing thing. Because Joseph was faithful, because his heart was right, God even rose him up in the prison to be a leader among the prisoners. God was with Joseph. That's chapter 39, you should read it. How he resists temptation, how he runs from it, how he serves the Lord, even in difficult times. And the scripture says, and the Lord was with Joseph. And I believe that he can be with you, he can be with me in difficult times as we focus on him, as we serve him, even in the midst of hardship, God wants to bless and God wants to prove himself faithful. That's Genesis chapter 39.